Welcome everyone. This is a review for budget capture card. This is a USB 3.0 4K HDMI video capture card. Uh, this one was sold under the name Rosemarias on Amazon. It usually costs around $30 to $40. These are budget capture cards meant to capture 1080p 60fps. I picked up this one via Amazon and as you can see it has an all metal body pretty nice it's not extremely light it feels okay and later on you'll be seeing the insides of it this model is known as the HU30 and it supports as it says here 4k 60 FPS now on the back of the box it supports the source supports are notebook, PC, Playbox, and PS4. I would assume Playbox should be Xbox. I'm not sure why they write Playbox, but there's that. And I'm going to be connecting it to my PlayStation 4 Pro to make sure it can support that. Uh, it's going to be used on OBS as normal. And just to go over it, it has a headset, microphone, USB 3.0, and an HDMI in, a HDMI out. Again, this is a 1080p capture card, so it allows you to input 4K60, and it'll pass through the 4K60, and you will be able to capture in 1080p60. So I'm gonna get my PlayStation 4 and connect it on my desktop, and you'll see. So I now have my PlayStation 4 Pro connected to my secondary PC. Let me just come down a little bit. This is my secondary PC right here. This is my PlayStation 4 Pro. And this is the USB capture card. The USB capture card is cap is onto the back of the PC. I did not put it on the front ports due to the fact that some users have reported errors through that with USB capture cards. So it's always a better practice from what I have seen to connect it in the back of your PC. Um, some basic features of it is that it has two blue LED ports. Um, Two LED lights near the ports that show you that it's receiving the signal and sending the signal out in the back of it there's a red LED right here that shows it's receiving power and connected to the PC right as you can see from the video now we have it connected and it is on OBS so OBS did detect it there was no installation of drivers it picked it up as a USB capture card so it was plug and play just to go over some stuff um, it is capturing in 1080p the resolution 60 FPS MJPEG and as you can see this is the quality that we're currently sh showing you via the monitor now please remember that MJPEG does have compression issues and not everyone may be satisfied with the MJPEG however for a basic budget capture card this is okay right I want to load into Bloodborne just to show you the actual game yep so this is Bloodborne right and as you can see the capture card is working I'm running it on the preview so the lag isn't too bad right now right. now one of the things to note about the capture card is that it does build up heat and gets warm this is mainly due to the quality, quality control that it has and because of that, I'm going to go into the capture card and show you how to correct that by adding additional aluminum heat sinks to it. So I'm going to cut to that right now. So this is the inside of the HU30 capture card. As you can see here, this is the box it comes in. And the capture card has a problem with heat overheating as many people have noted in the reviews of them online. This is a simple solution for it. This is a, a cheap box of aluminum heat sinks for different electronic equipment such as car amplifiers, graphic cards, 
and by using thermal tape you apply this to the back of the heat sink and then you stick it onto the MOSFET so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to do that now and you'll see the finish result so as you can see I've applied three small heat sinks to these um, the reason I didn't apply it to this one is this one is a little bit taller and I don't want it to clash when I'm putting it back in but this should be fine as I am hoping it doesn't generate a large amount of heat through extended use. So this is going to be the conclusion for what I think about the capture card. For under $40, I think it's a very good capture card. They do range from $30 to $40. And there are three big caveats or three big things I think you should know about it. One, I wouldn't really pay more than $40 for this capture card. Uh, two is the heat, but that can be solved by adding the aluminum heat sinks as I've shown before in the video. It's very easy to do and it doesn't take long, only takes about two to three minutes just to get the thermal tape and apply it and it's good to go. And the final thing is the MJPEG. Now, you may be wondering what other options you have in this price category and I believe the best option you have based on my research is the EVGA XLR Lite. It's a similar format capture card. It does the same things like this one, except it uses, I believe, the YUY2 format and the NV12 format. I'm not too sure on that, but I'll check back and confirm. And that means that the video compression is gonna be a lot better due to that format it uses. However, for $40 and under, this capture card does provide a lot of value to budget-oriented shoppers. It does its job well, especially given the fact that you may not be wanting to expend a lot of money. You may be looking for a capture card that's under $50, and you may not be able to get the EVGA XLR Lite at that price. And that's another issue that you're going to have to resolve based on your region or where you live in the world. Uh, I was able to pick up the EVGA card, so hopefully I'll be able to get that in. I was able to get it for under 52, but that was seeming to be a one-off sale. I'm not too sure if it's going to be a regular price drop, but I've seen the EVGA go for around $60. Um, it's usually MSRP is 99 so it's much higher than these cards. However, it does have better quality video compression and video format however again this card is regular between 30 to 40 dollars which makes it a very good buy <laughs> for budget card oriented shoppers yeah so that's what i think about the capture card it's good for the money it does a job and the heat problem can be solved relatively easy uh just keep in mind it does use mjpeg so that may or may not affect you and this is the quality on stream. Well, well, yeah, that's the quality you'll be getting. And for further viewing of the quality, I'm going to do a Bloodborne Let's Play and have it up on the channel. So you could go and check that out. If possible, I'll link that at the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and comment your thoughts. Have a nice day.